All right, ladies and gentlemen, fellow coders, welcome to this next video uh, in our series where I'm going to show you how to build a real world app from scratch with Java for free uh, via my different channels of syndication. So uh, we are talking about Fresh Votes, which is an application uh, that now I've written out on the screen here in a whole bunch of text what the requirements are for this application. So this is meant to sort of duplicate a real world scenario. I'm trying my hardest to duplicate real world scenarios where you'd be given probably a bunch of text that explains uh, what it is that you need to build for yourself, whether it's a project from scratch or whether it's a feature, an enhancement, uh, a bug fix, uh, who knows, right? Uh, usually there's some sort of text that is delivered to you that explains uh, exactly what it is that you need to do. So I'm gonna show you how to take text and turn it into code essentially, okay, through using our, you know, what's between our two ears. So this is a process that I use every single time when I, uh, whenever I create anything, whether it's like I said, a bug fix or an enhancement or a project from scratch, which is exactly what we're doing right now. Um, this is the same, uh, these are the same steps I go through. Okay, so you're gonna see exactly what my mind does uh, when it comes to building out applications. Sound good? All right, so uh, here's what we do. First, we read through our requirements to make sure we have, you know, get an understanding of what the app is. Let's do that. So, Fresh Votes app requirements. So as a, uh, a business owner can create a page which allows visitors to recommend new features to the business owner's app. Okay, visitors can view the pages that the business owner shares. Okay, visitors can upvote downvote features that have been recommended. Uh, the number of upvotes downvotes should be limited per visitor and page. Uh, the recommended features should allow for a title and description. Other visitors should be allowed to leave comments and blah, 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 blah. Okay, cool. So we get the gist of what this is all about. This is a, an app that allows uh, people to make recommendations on changes that a business owner should make to their app. So a business owner has an app, probably a web app or a mobile app or what have you, and the users of that app like it and they say, hey, it'd be great if it could do this as well, okay? And they can make that recommendation and then they can go in and upvote their own recommendation or downvote other people's recommendations or whatever. So, cool. That's a, a basic gist of what this, this app should do. Like, like I said, maybe this is given to you by um, an entrepreneur, maybe this is given to you by your boss, or um, who knows, right? A business analyst has given this to you and said, go build this, right? Okay, cool, so what do we do? Well, first we read it to understand it, and then we go through it again and uh, outline all the nouns, okay? Nouns are, uh, you know, person, place, or thing uh, inside of the text, okay? So that doesn't mean adjectives, doesn't mean verbs, doesn't mean, especially not verbs, people get confused with verbs and, and try to add verbs, no. Um, just the nouns. So, person, place, or thing. Well, business, so A is obviously not going to be a noun, but business owner is a noun. Okay, so let's sort of outline our business owner. Can create a page, a page is a person, place, or thing, which allows visitors, visitors are people, person, place, or thing, to recommend new features, a feature I would say is a thing, to the business owner's app. Um, an app is a thing as well, although I know that I'm probably going to disregard app. But anyway, uh, visitors, there's that visitor again, uh, can view the pages that the business owner shares. So you get the idea, right? We're going to go through this and highlight all of the nouns. Can upvote, downvote. Um, that's upvoting and downvoting is a verb, not a thing. So uh, we'll get to there. Uh, features, a feature I would say is a thing, uh, that have been recommended. The number of up, down votes should be limited per visitor and page. So we sort of see a, a, a theme here with the nouns that we are, um, that we are outlining, right? Should allow for a title and description, sure. Although, again, my brain already knows what to do with those. And uh, other visitors uh, should be allowed to leave comments, should be allowed to leave comments on each recommended feature. Uh, business owners, okay, I guess I can, I'm not gonna highlight that one just because it's on two separate lines, but we've already outlined business owner before, so it's not, no big deal if we, if we uh, skip it. Uh, should be allowed to comment, we had comments, but I, I guess in this case, comment is kind of, be, it's kind of being used for a verb, but we've already, uh, grabbed it as a noun up here, so fair enough, we can outline that as a noun uh, on these features as well. Business owners should be able uh, to mark features with a status 
and then I give examples of what a status is. Okay, cool. So basically what I've just done here is, and you can do this very quickly, right? And, and you don't have to keep, uh, as I said, highlighting every single noun when you've already um, sort of figured out that that's a noun, right? So in other words, business owner, I wouldn't have to go through and, and highlight it every single time. So that would save me a bit of time in terms of scanning through a document. Um, basically in the actual real, real world when I'm not teaching this, what I would do is I would scan through and read with my eyes and all the nouns that I would read on the page, um, I would write down, okay? So instead of highlighting them on the page, I would just go through and say, oh, that's a noun, business owner, and I'd write it down, okay? That's sort of the actual thing that I would do. But, you know, for the purposes of teaching and being very visual, this is a better way to explain that. So I would have already written down business owner, so when I got to it again, I wouldn't write down business owner again. And then I'd write page, I'd write visitor. And what I typically do is I depluralize. So I singularize the words. Um, so business owner, one word. Visitors with an S? No, I'd write down visitor, right, with, with no S. Um, you know, you get the idea. Pages? No, it would be page. Features, it would be feature. Um, comments would be comment, uh, et cetera, et cetera, for all the different nouns. So as you can see here, like how many, how many nouns have we, uh, have we identified? So um, business owner is one, page, visitor, features, business owner, app. And so the word app, whenever we get to, to things like app or web app or web page, uh, these are, aren't typically things that we actually create um, in our code because it kind of is too meta. It represents our, our, our code itself. Um, and, and you'll see what I mean when I, when I get to the next step in the next video and we actually talk about uh, creating these as entities, uh, as you know, database tables and whatnot, uh, you'll see that app doesn't really make sense because the app is the Fresh Votes app. We already have sort of that concept. The entire database is the app. Right, so to, it's you don't really need to anyway. You'll see when I when we get there. Okay, so one, uh, so business owner page visitor feature visitor we've already captured page we've already captured business owner we've already captured already captured feature we've already captured visitor yes page we've already captured feature yes. So title description. Um, what's it? What's important to understand here is yes, title and description are nouns, and I guess we're going to get to this in the next stage. So fine, let me maybe mark them as one. So let's not overcomplicate things. Uh, so let's mark those title description. Uh, fair enough. Visitor already got it. Comments, did we get that one already? Comments, I don't think so, right? No, that's the first time we've talked about comments. So let's mark it with a one. Um, and I wouldn't go through and mark this as ones for you when you do this. This is just for illustrating how many individual unique uh, nouns we have sort of identified here. So uh, don't worry about doing this yourself. So comments, Feature, comment, feature, 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 status is here. That's another one. Okay, so how many marks is that? One, two, three, four, uh, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so with, you know, a fair bit of text, we've identified eight different uh, sort of real individual unique nouns that we can work with. And this will be the basis essentially for, in the next video, for what are called entities. Um, I'm going to be essentially creating the database schema, which basically means uh, what are the tables that are going to be created? What, what's, what information needs to be stored in the database? Okay, and then we're going to figure out how those tables interact with each other, what the relationships are between those tables, um, and what are tables and what are properties of those tables. So hint, hint, uh, title and description are probably going to be properties of a table, not a table itself. Okay, so we'll get to that in the next video. So thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this content, if you learned something new, uh, I encourage you to uh, like and subscribe to this channel because I'm gonna be uh, uh, creating a lot of these videos. Okay, I'm thinking there's probably gonna be like 30 of these videos um, that will outline exactly how to go from where we are now to a finished product that's live on the internet on freshvotes.com that you can access and play around with and build yourself. So I don't want you to miss out on any of that great free content. So go ahead and subscribe below if you're watching on YouTube or any other platform that allows you to subscribe. Um, and I thank you for doing so. And I can't wait to see you guys in the next episode. So take care of yourself. Happy learning. Bye for now.